Hey guys, this is Dumb Crypto here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit the 1,000 subscribers mark. So in today's video, I'm going to go through the response um, from the Seifu team and Brian Legend for, for the massive decline in price. But this decline in price is across the board for all the auto-staking projects like Sphere, Titano. So it's not isolated to Seifu only. So if you take a look at Seifu's price just in the one week chart right it actually had, had a nice rebound but then after that it just quickly gave all away and then just slowly start to crumble down below the 20 dollars and then it went slightly um, just slightly above the pre-launch price and now it recovered a little but other than that the price is looking pretty grim and in the one month chart right you can see titano actually fell from one like 180 190 all the way down to to uh, 20 dollars right so it's quite a massive decline for titano and Every time that we thought or I thought that it's a low price, I, I thought the low price was probably at like $50. And I think some people thought it was at $100, right? And and then when it dropped to $30, some people thought, I also thought that it, it was like quite low at $30, but then it fell even further and now it's at $20. So I think for Seifu, it's really tough to be motivated to buy more because every time we start buying more, we, we feel like the next week and the next week comes and we're going to we we are dropping even more. So I think that also kind of affect the momentum for a lot of this auto staking project is every week if we were to buy the dip the following week we will see that the price drops even more so it really um demotivates a lot of people from buying the dip so it definitely affect the momentum in the price chart as well right so you can see that brian legend and the safe team actually came up with um, a response to this uh declining price and you can see that he really addresses the declining price and he knows that the current investors are quite worried and he's not going to use the insurance fund to prop up the price because he doesn't want um, it to be a reason for the whales to exit and further crash the price right because if he props up the price with the sif which is the insurance fund to temporarily prop up the price then it could create a reason for whales to exit and then it further uh, affect the price and decline the price even more and that was actually what happened with uh the wonderland project just i think last year or something like i was in the wonderland project and whenever they use the the funds to prop up the price then people start exiting and it caused even more selling pressure to the uh underlying token right so i think you can see that safe would definitely learn from a lot of the past project which is really good so in in response, right, they're instead going to use the funds right to um do stronger advertising and you can see that they have up to i think uh yeah 445,000 so almost half a million dollars directed towards advertising right and they're going to do banner advertising budget of uh 350,000 and 95,000 for crypto targeted web traffic so you can see that the main reason they are trying to use this strategy is to acquire new users right by increasing the token holder numbers maintain the current price level and help to prop up the community spirit in discord and on social media so i think i think they definitely do have um quite a clear goal as to why they're spending their the, this money right here instead of using it to prop up the price of uh, Seifu's token right and honestly I, I do think that um, now is probably in my opinion not the best timing for advertisement because right now it's quite a bearish market right and I don't know how much uh, conversion they are going to get with this uh, amount of money spent almost half a million close to half a million spent right uh, on advertising and uh, I don't know but I think I, yeah, I, I'm not sure whether this this is going to uh, have any results or not because i think advertising in a bear crypto market is not going to be that effective because normally most of the momentum comes from the, the bull market where advertising really gets amplified in a bull market i think in a bear market there's not going to be much effect but i i do think that brian uh, and the safe team they always have quite a good uh, foresight and plan in mind so i think I, i'll still see i'll still believe in this and see where this can go and see what's the outcome of this spending on ever advertising so you can see that they actually passed the the voting and they're going to go through with the advertising and going through with the marketing so i think overall safe response and their reaction to this declining price is quite in line with uh their thought process and and they are quite calculated in how they are going to spend the the money to help uh, increase new users so i think all we can do is wait and see even though this is not uh, the most optimal strategy in my opinion but i think um, overall, Brian and the Seifu team does have quite a good track record in bringing hype to the project. So I think we're going to have to wait and see how this is going to affect the, the price of Seifu. So if you guys like the video, please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching.